everybody. Great to have you with us on the WB Mason Post Game. Bob Lorenz and Jack Curry with you. Buck Walter will join us in just a moment. Yankees get a second straight win against the Twins. Eight straight wins overall. Ten runs in this one, Jack. This one tonight we'll talk about nasty Nestor, nasty Luke Voigt, nasty offense, nasty good defense. Did I leave anything out? You didn't leave anything <laughs> out, but even though they scored ten runs, I feel obligated to start with Nestor Cortez. He has been an amazing story for the Yankees. And when you head into a season as a team, I think you're always saying to yourself, you expect X from this player. You expect Y from this player. And sometimes players underachieve, and the Yankees had a lot of that this season. Cortez has overachieved. When he was signed, they thought of him as a bullpen piece, a guy who could occasionally start, swing between both of those roles. They never envisioned that he would become one of their most reliable starters, but that's what he has been across the last two months or so, and he is fascinating to watch because in this era of big swings, big home runs, everybody throwing 100 miles an hour. There's Cortez throwing a fastball around 91, messing up timing, working quickly. That really stood out for me tonight, how he had the twins on their heels, in part because he worked so quickly. Seven solid innings. And you asked me on the pregame, Bob, where do the Yankees go with him? And is he a guy who might eventually have to move to the bullpen? I don't know how you move him out of the rotation. After Cole and Tyone, He's right there as your next most reliable starter. And he just keeps pitching deeper into games as the season.